What's up you guys? All right, so I'm gonna show you the before and after of putting a Fister Stage 3 exhaust on this 96 Porsche 911. It's a 993, last of the air-cooled Porsches. And so this is one that I really like, but the fact is the stock exhaust doesn't really sound, well, when you're driving, I mean, you can hear it, but it's not, it, it doesn't really do a lot. And the I had a Mercedes E63 S that had a much louder exhaust than this. And I think this is a much nicer car in a lot of ways. It's also appreciating in value. It's not depreciating anymore. So I want to put a new exhaust on. And so I got the Fister Stage 3. Now the Fister exhaust, um, the way they do it is you can actually send back your core. So you install this and then you send back your exhaust and then they'll take your exhaust they redo all the internals on the inside and then they you know ship it out to someone else so this is an exhaust that would have originally come off of a, a 993. i'm going to keep my cores because i want to be able to move the car back to stock if i want to it's got 14,000 miles on it it's in really good shape and although i want this exhaust someone else in the future might not so i'm not going to send back the core but that's okay my understanding is that, let's see, this should be a pretty straightforward install because literally it's just removing the existing muffler and replacing it with this. There are four bolts uh, and, uh, you know, hopefully it'll be straightforward. I've heard of some people with bigger tires that have had a hard time uh, kind of getting this back in spot. so. I don't think I'll have to take the wheels off though because these are stock. All right, so I'm gonna give you guys a before and after and then for those of you guys that like the sound of it, we'll jump in and you'll get to kind of watch me install the new mufflers. We'll see how it sounds. So, although I think it's probably possible, can you hand those to me? Hand those to me, please, thank you. Although I think it's probably possible to do this in maybe an hour and a half. I have a, a two and a half year old helper who's gonna slow me down for sure. What I'm gonna do first is loosen each of the four bolts. I really don't wanna strip any of the four. That would be, that's gonna slow me down big time. So I'm gonna just try to loosen all four of them, see if there's one that's giving me a hard time. And if I can get them all loose and that's not an issue, then I'll just go ahead and undo all of them. But I'm gonna start there, cause I don't, I don't wanna like fully put on one side and then realize I can't get this one off. And then I have half of an exhaust that's not gonna work. All right, so I'm gonna go through each of these four bolts. I've already done uh, this muffler here. That was pretty easy and I can just show you uh, right here. Uh, this is, it's this bolt right here. It's 13 millimeter. 
So 13 millimeter right there. I'm gonna have the same one on the other side. And I think I'm gonna have to undo this right here. And then actually there, there's one more. So I think it's three bolts on each side. I think that's all it is, three bolts on each side. All right, I'll keep you posted. Yeah, you bring that over here. So this old one actually has a heat shield on it right here, which is uh, clearly part of the um, part of the design. And the new one does not have a heat shield, although they are, in terms of size and everything like that and shape, they're totally identical but no heat shield. So I might, uh, I might send an email just asking about that. They must, I guess they must think that the heat shield's not required, um, but I'll just, I'll just double check that. But this one I can't put onto here because this has little uh, brackets like right in there that are kind of hard to see, but it's part of this design, so. That they're not gonna, I'm not gonna be able to put that heat shield on. So I'm just gonna put this one to the side and put the new one on. So this uh, piece right here came off the old exhaust and this is what connected the, um, the pipe right there. So I'm just gonna slide that back in just like that. Try to make it as even as I can. And then this piece, the bolt that came off this uh, longer arm was pretty rusted. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that one and use one of the new ones that came with um, uh, with the set or, or with the, uh, the hardware. So obviously I, I think that's the right thing to do. Uh, I could use the old one, but the new one is gonna go on much better. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the new one and um, I just have to put this on, connect it, and then do the same on this side here, which is where the muffler is going to attach right there. So I'm going to use the or the same um, uh, exhaust tip. So it's basically going to be like that. And uh, again, like minus the heat shield, we'll see if we can get that popped right back on. So a little dark here, but that this right here 
is uh, the, the clamp, the connection between these two. So getting this back in there is a little, it's gonna take a second, just a little muscle, and then tightening it down. And then this will be the easy part. This I've already got hanging back here, and there's a little clip on the back of the actual exhaust um, muffler right here. This uh, clips and hangs on uh, the underside of the car. So it hangs on that, and then this just tightens down to hold it in place right there. So really just need to tighten this and then put the muffler back on or the exhaust tip back on on this side and then this side will be done. All right, now putting uh, the exhaust tip back on and this I can just kind of, you know, make sure I, I have it the way I like it uh, and the way that kind of centered and looks good and then tighten it down from there. And again, uh, same, same little bracket here and using the new uh, screw to hold it back in. So this side is taken, I mean, honestly, 25 minutes? I, I don't, it really hasn't taken very long at all. So this side's almost done and I'm gonna go do that side and then I should be done. Well, if you made it to the end of this video, you must also be a tire kicker just like me. So hit that subscribe button and come over to tirekickers.com to check out some articles that I've written about some of my favorite cars, including that 23 window 1961 VW bus.